at the OECD, we have identified three pivotal dimensions to implementing the SDGs and the 2030 Agenda more broadly. First, effective policies. The ambitions of the SDGs are universal. Translating them into transformative results on the ground depends on two things, the global enabling environment and the ability to design policies owned and led at the local level. Rural development, for example, is a necessary condition to achieve the SDGs and an area that must be further explored, one that is often neglected. Three billion people in developing countries live, still live, in rural areas. And they include the majority of the world's poor. Therefore, when we're talking development, we're talking about where it's at. That is where the greatest challenge resides. They're constrained by a lack of productive employment opportunities, poor education, poor infrastructure, limited access to markets, services, and information. I'm therefore pleased to announce today the release of the OECD report, a new rural development paradigm for the 21st century. Actually, this is the overview. This is the real thing. It's a little fat, you know, a little heavy. It's full of substance and full of wisdom. This is, of course, for the ministers, you know. This, this, the fast reader, this is for the, this is for the advisors, and, you know. But uh, this is effectively a toolkit for developing countries. And actually, it is a subtitle of the work. A toolkit for developing countries to focus on the rural development paradigm of the 21st century. It will inform our discussions on building more resilient and sustainable rural livelihoods. The second question is data. Now, the first one is about effective policies. It's like an oxymoron, of course. You've got to get it right. You know. Yes, but you've got to get it right. And when you're talking about rural development, there's a certain issue on which you've got to focus. It's not intuitive. Well, this one sounds just as obvious. Data. Ah. We've got to know what's going on before we fix it. Reliable, comparative data, better policy making requires better data in order to make informed decisions about what is working, what is not, what's broken, what's not, what's more expensive, what's cheaper, what's easier, what's faster. Better data also allows us to assess progress. It's the GPS. GPS tells you where you are. You also tell it where you want to get to and it'll tell you how to get there faster, hopefully. But it'll also adjust on the way. This is what we need to do. It's not a straight line, and it's not obvious. 17 SDGs, 169 targets, 220 indicators. When you look at this for the first time, people say, oh, my God. How did you ever get into this level of complexity? No, it is the natural result. It's an evolution of the discussion about the Millennium Development Goals, their execution, their implementation, and then with that knowledge, with that experience, with the scars and the wounds in many cases still open, you develop a more complex, more universal, more comprehensive, more complete. All the world starts with a C, you know. Is it? That um, you know, but uh, it and and hopefully, you know, you go for better results. Because we learned a lot of the things that happened, but what were the MDGs? They were indicators about goals about developing countries and emerging economies. We now, as I said, have universal mandate, which includes all the countries of the OECD, plus all the developing and emerging countries of the world. Now, 
The complexity means we need to strengthen national statistical systems to support governments in making the right decisions and to put in place more transparent monitoring systems. In short, to function as a GPS for the implementation of the SDGs. <laughs>